Hello friends and my name is Akash and in this video I am going to explain about this Technic Jeep. So mainly it's made up of Technic parts only some details are like using brick parts. Brick slash plates parts. Reason it's special is because it's like made up of Technic and it has more features than I make usually in a normal car. So, first thing is, what's the difference between brick and technic parts? So, if you see, this is a Lego plate. Like, I just stack two of them. Now, as you can see, it has like stud connections. So that, I can just stack some more plates over it. But in Technic, it's a whole different thing. But it's quite similar and if you understand it, you will be able to play with it easily. It's more like interconnecting parts similar to bricks. But you have some special parts which help you connect like the studs of a normal brick to another part. So if you see here, when I'm taking out these pieces, you can see there's like a, something like a black piece. So when I take it out, you see these are like separate pieces and then these pieces help connect different parts just like studs of a normal plate but in technique they are like slightly different pieces like angled bricks i mean angled connections then angled technique beams curves then these kind of special pieces like which basically have the we tell four stroke or slash axle with a hole like there's so many different types of pieces that it would be hard for me to classify in the video so this is just the demonstration of technique <coughs> so let me just close it so the reason is that why i wanted to make a technique jeep is because i actually own a what do you tell a legos technique set this is the Lego Technic Jeep and which is basically two times bigger than this. And that was pretty big too. Like it's basically bigger than the width than my, of my hand. Like basically if you see my hand is a bit more wider than the car. But that Jeep was like the width of my hand. And it had much more features than this. But the thing is, this is a prototype. That's why I wanted to only have some few basic options. Now, how did I start making this? So first, when I wanted to make the prototype, I wanted to use the chassis. And I'll just take it out in a few seconds. Now, this is what I call the chassis. Chassis and this is the shell or the cover. So the cover includes the roof and some hood details. Then now here I can explain you all the features of the car easily. First is the suspension. Now what is the suspension? Like suspension is a, a system in a car like which helps the car overcome uh, unevenness, like uneven things on the road like obstacles of a road. So you would be needing suspension since sometimes the axles can be at an angled position so at the rear i put these very powerful springs but it can't really work because they are a bit too strong so that is why i have these kind of free suspension on the front which can help the car angle with the obstacles and with that i also put the steering mechanism where I just tilt this like with my fingers and the result is this. So you see this? Look at angles. The only problem with this mechanism is that it has very less steering radius. So if you want to do a sharp turn, it's not really going to happen because it has very less steering radius. Now, I actually got this inspiration of the steering system from the Lego Technic Jeep, which is basically the 
yellow one and it's the like open type and the instruction book booklet is quite big too and took me like three hours to build it so with the steering and suspension mechanism i'm just going to show you the details first in the, is the interior you just only have one seat because i did not have enough pieces to make like another similar seat here's the gear stick which you can see here and the steering wheel sadly the steering wheel doesn't work because i don't have too many gears to like make the mechanism but i'll try to do it in the next video to see if it happens or not now at the front we have the two big headlights then the grill then some bumper decoration so now for some uh, roof if you want to see like here is the covers more like the roof rack of the roof then here you can put some additional storage space now you'll be wondering what is this tiny space here like basically the answer is so that this axle piece for the steering mechanism can go through this hole so let me just put it back on so since i've explained you the features i'm just going to like show you like around the car like the different angles of the car so first is this angle like you can see the suspension shocks like from the front here's the grill now let me show you the back side so it's just like a land rover defender or a normal jeep with the off road tires and the tail lights so friends thank you for watching this video and please subscribe to my channel because i want to reach 100 subscribers and if i reach 100 subscribers this year then up i will upload a very very special video like how i did for the 50 subscribers special video so thank you for watching and please subscribe bye